What up guys, today we are here building the Santa Cruz Bronson C R build. Uh, if you missed yesterday's video, go check it out. It is the Santa Cruz Hightower LT. Um, great bikes, get to start building this. Gotta get it out of the box first. All right, let's get this out of here. Wheel, wheel. I'm gonna cut the zip ties before showing you guys the color of this bike. I know I did it on the weird side. There we go. Well, let's get it built and see how it looks like in person. First things first, I'm gonna get the dropper post into the frame, not necessarily wired up, just so I can hang it. I mean, you could kind of hang it off this, but I'm, I'm, that's not a lot of space, so I'm not gonna bother doing that. So, clamp, post, good to go. All right, post should be in here. The fork, there's the post. Now, this is the R build, so this is probably gonna be a lower spec post. Yep, race face. Not as cool as reverb, but still cool. Still a dropper. I got the clamp, four mil. So I think I'm gonna head into time-lapse mode for a little bit and get this bike built, because we don't need a you know 20 minute video of me tearing off paper and all this other stuff. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right guys, we're getting quite close to being finished the bike. I do have to put the seat on. I have to run the dropper post cable. I got to cut all these ties and you know, adjust the gear, stuff like that. But everything is on in terms of everything else. I have to do the uh, sealant in the tires right now, which is what I'll be doing right now. So let's get to it. These days. Still gonna have to seat more. Still basically gotta seat all of it, so. Jesus, Jesus. Skirt. So that side's all in. And that side's all in, so take this off. Tighten that back down. Cap back on and go to the front wheel. See if this thing seals as quickly as the back one did, because that would be nice. Oh, it is. One eternity later. That was in front of my face. Oh, these ones are loud. They're unhappy. Leaking out all over the valve here. All right, there we go, we got it. Now on to the gears. I have the cable housing run all the way up, connected all the way through the frame. So now I just got to uh, hook it up to the derailleur here and go from there. Seek. All right, so we can just start by pushing this thing through the frame. Of course, it never just wants to run itself through the derailleur first go. Especially when we got these crazy wheels and stuff. All right, so it's a little too tight but it's also not limited yet, so it is what she is. It's really hard to adjust these bikes when you don't have a pedal, just because it's hard to pedal them, really. 
Cables look super weird up front here, but that's just because they're kind of, uh, they were tied in the box, so it's a little weird. Alright, so we've got the gears adjusted. All we got to do is cut the cable there, cut the zip ties, and run the dropper. Let's get to that now. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, take it down. Oh, I got the seat on there. Just got to run the post. Now, this is the older style, kind of like the giant style dropper post, so I got to run a cable through there. Kind of a bit more of a pain than the rock shock, but it is what it is. Guys, time to torque. All right, let's weigh this guy. Thirty oh three. Quite comparable to the high tower. All right, guys, the bike is done. So I'm gonna put you guys in the camera grip. Go get some cool photos of this and talk a little bit about it. See you there in five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, here we have the 2018 Bronson CR build. Comes with a SRAM NX 1x11 gearing on here. It's got the SRAM level T brakes. Some uh, Maxxis Minion DHF in the front, DHR2 in the back, as you expect to see on an all-mountain build bike. Any specs and stuff like that can be found at the Santa Cruz website. This is more just like an overview and some cool shots. Hope you guys like this. Remember, if you wanna see more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. Check out the Juliana build, check out the Trance build, check out all the other builds I've done on the channel, like the Inspired build that's just chilling right behind me here. Get it there, ride your bike, have fun. See you guys, bye.